Mr. Speaker, there are notorious clubs, night clubs, about seven of them in Nairobi. We can, I will take you round, Mr. Speaker, if you want, on Sunday morning. Order. Order, Honorable Senator. On, Order. On, on Sunday morning, Order, Mr. Speaker. Honorable Senators, can the Senator Mr. Speaker, on side? Sunday morning, as others Senator, are going to church. Senator Karen, you can only take me around churches in Nairobi. <laughs> Conclude. But Mr. Speaker, as other people are going to church on Sunday morning, you will see another different type of church. And at some point, when they are very drunk, they will sing into, they will break into gospel song, and the DJ will lead them into a service and mock, and a mock service. And Mr. Speaker, when you see the videos that are coming from these parties, it is very sad because the age group. I would not be very concerned if it was Senator Mazayo involved in that. The age group is very worrying because these children, first of all, they don't Order, have honorable senators. They don't have a source of income. They don't have. They are so. They live with their parents, so they don't have a, a source of income. So my worry is, and the case study that we should also carry. Where is this money for non-stop partying coming from? They could. It could be funded by the popular wababas taking advantage of our girls. Mr. Speaker, this trend... Senator Karen, I think we've uh, understood what you meant. Mr. Speaker, the trend I'm talking about involves the consumption of alcohol or partying and clubbing um, on a continuous mode, non-stop, from Friday evening, for instance. You choose to remain in the club until Sunday... I mean, until Monday morning, whereby young... Young, um, young Kenyans and the youth uh, at the age bracket of, say, 20, 19 years to, say, even 40 years are exposed in a party mood on, on an autopilot where it is, it is, it is um, nonstop. They don't go home. They don't take a shower. And there are existing laws, Mr. Speaker, that regulate... The, con the time that alcohol should be sold according to the alcohol bill of 2010. Mr. Speaker, in developed world where we in the developed world in the West where we copy a lot of things and they are, let's face it, they are ahead of us in many ways. Clubs are closed at 2 a.m. No partying goes on in the United States of America, for example, past 2 a.m. Here in Kenya, the youth who are supposed to be participating in economic activities, the people who the future of our country rely, relies on, are busy partying, thinking of nothing beyond tomorrow than having a good time the next weekend. Mr. Speaker, if we continue like this, we are going to lose a whole generation. I have a personal experience where in the, the University of Nairobi, I met a very good friend who was in Alliance High School, Mr. Speaker. A Order. very, a very bright, Senate. beautiful uh, friend of mine who was schooling with me at the University of Nairobi Law School. And Mr. Speaker, we were exposed to a, an environment where the, our parents are not in campus, so you had to make your choice whether you want to drink and party nonstop. And Mr. Speaker, as we speak, we lost my friend some years back because... For me, Mr. Speaker, I had a doting father who kept checking on me, my every step. So, and Senator, Senator Karen, uh, just have your seat. Mr. If, Speaker, if, I'm, if, just trying to tell, I'm just trying to demonstrate you're, 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 the effects Sen of... S Senator, of, Ka Senator of, Karen, just, just take your seat, please. Order, order, honorable senators. If I go to you correctly, Senator Karen, aluta means non-stop partying. Is, is, can that sum up the very long uh, statement you're giving us? Aluta means... Is it a concept? Mr. Speaker, if you put it that way, if you say it's non-stop partying, someone might assume that this person is partying 
use um, normal parting hours, like they are parting till 6 a.m., going home and parting tomorrow. Order, <laughs> Senator Kenyo. Do you partake of these parties? <laughs> Mr. Speaker, there are notorious clubs, nightclubs, about seven of them in Nairobi. We can, I will take you round, Mr. Speaker, if you want, on Sunday morning. <laughs> Order. Order, Honorable Senator. On, Order. On, on Sunday morning, Order, Mr. Speaker. Honorable Senators, can the Senator Mr. Speaker, be on, on Sunday morning, as others Senator, are going to church. Senator Karen, you can only track me around churches. <laughs> Conclude. But, Mr. Speaker, as other people are going to church on Sunday morning, you will see another different type of church. And at some point, when they are very drunk, they will sing into, they will break into gospel song, and the DJ will lead them into a service and mock, and a mock service. And Mr. Speaker, when you see the videos that are coming from these parties, it is very sad because the age group. I would not be very concerned if it was Senator Mazayo involved in that. <laughs> the age group is very worrying because these children, first of all, they don't Order, have. Order, honourable senators. They don't have a source of income. They, don't have, they, are so, they live with their parents, so they don't have a, a source of income. So my worry is, and the case study that we should also carry, where is this money for non-stop partying coming from? They could, it could be funded by the popular wababas, taking advantage of our girls. Mr. Speaker, this trend... Senator Karen, I think we've uh, understood what you meant. 